Back in the chuck wagon days, a great way to preserve meat was to smoke it and make beef jerky. Oh, beef jerky. I like it. Everyone likes it. It's great. And it's not very hard to make. Got a couple flank steaks here. You can get mostly anything you want. Pretty much what you're looking for is not a lot of fat. You don't want a real marbled piece of meat. So you want something pretty lean, maybe skirt, maybe flank, somewhere around there. It's pretty common to do a marinade maybe with soy sauce or liquid smoke or teriyaki or any of that stuff. But back in the old days, I don't think they had teriyaki seasoning. So we're not doing it that way. This is gonna be straight salt and pepper and smoke. Now you wanna get this meat as cold as you can without freezing it. We're gonna slice this stuff really, really thin, so we wanna get it really firm. I am gonna kinda of go down at an angle a little bit. We're gonna cut it about quarter inch slices against the grain. A lot of beef jerky you would slice with the grain. I prefer it against, just so it's a little more tender, so it's kinda of moist on the inside. It's not real leathery. Some of this, if you do get a piece that has some of that fat on there, just go ahead and trim it off. It's not a big deal if you don't, but you got a knife handy, you might as well just trim a little bit. It might be a little chewy on those fattier parts, but eh, you know, that's okay. A piece of beef jerky that's got a little chew to it certainly isn't the worst thing in the world. I'm gonna use two cooling racks. I'm gonna lay the meat out on one of them to go onto the smoker. Then we'll make our rub. I'm gonna use about half salt and half pepper, but then a little bit more salt. I'll shake it up. There's not gonna be a lot of flavor inside the meat, so we're gonna to have to overcompensate with some extra rub. We'll sprinkle the rub on pretty liberally. Then we're gonna use the second cooling rack to flip the meat around and season the other side. In the meantime, gonna let the meat sit out, warm up to room temperature while we start the fire. We're cold smoking, so we're gonna keep everything under 150 degrees. And I'm gonna go wash up. Perfect, 125 degrees. So I'm just gonna pick up this tray of meat, stick it in here. If you wanna be pretty heavy on the smoke, you might be looking at about five hours. If you wanna be a little more delicate, maybe closer to three, but either way, it's your call. Put it in, shut the lid, walk away and maintain. Oh yeah. Okay, so these things have been on for about three hours. Definitely on the lighter side of smokiness, which is totally great for me. Good and pliable, good color. So let's get these things inside and get them in the dehydrator. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put this beef jerky in the food dehydrator. If you don't have a food dehydrator, you can totally use your oven. Just put it on the warm setting. You don't want it to get any hotter than about 145, 150. So anyway, I'm gonna transfer this stuff over. Looks nice. It smells good too. Don't wanna to smush it in there too much. You wanna leave sort of some gaps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna slide this thing in. Put the front back on. Turn it to 145 and check back in the morning for softness. Well, 15 hours in, it's time to check the jerky. Ooh. It's pretty good. It's pliable, not too leathery, not too hard. So it's about right. So this stuff is ready 15 hours in. Your stuff may take 12 hours, it may take 20 hours. You don't really know. Take it to the tenderness that you want it to. I'm calling this jerky done. 